Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video about using DaVinci Resolve as your editor slash color grading software. In today's video, I'll show you how to do a very neat effect just like this, using only Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve. I did a tutorial about this previously where I used After Effects, but you can actually do this right in the Resolve. So without further ado, let's go to the edit suite. Okay, and here we are back, not in DaVinci Resolve, but in Photoshop. So just to tell you how to do this very brief, because I already did a tutorial on how to do this, you can look at, at that up in the cart in the top right now. Um, so what you basically want to do is you want to look at the picture and figure out what you want. In this case, I am I have masked out the cat's head and uh, my head because that is the two uh, elements I want to move. So what you basically do is by using the clone st uh, tool in Photoshop, you will just draw in the background as you see right here. Here I'm I'm doing it on the cat, and again here on my own head. And the thing is, you don't have to be too perfectionistic about it. It should just cover the movements you are planning to do. You might think, why go to all the hassle to do an effect like this when you can do uh, the Ken Burns effect with the a still photo with a zoom on. Um, the main reason for doing it like this is this will be a Ken Burns effect, but with movements. And I just think it looks way cooler. Maybe the audience will not see it right away, but I am pretty sure they will notice the small details in the end. And I've used this technique for our documentary Wunderlich, which you can see some example on right here. Uh, all of these were done in, um, fo in Photoshop, After Effects, and then exported out, but you can do the exact same thing in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so when you finish drawing the backgrounds in, you simply have to save uh, each individual layer as a PNG file and go to Resolve and continue from there. And finally, we are back in DaVinci Resolve and uh, here we have our three PNG files. Um, so we'll just drag the first one down and I will just add a track and add yet another track. And then we'll take um, the, the first one here is just the back layer. Then we'll take uh, the cat head and my head. So uh, the way this will work, we'll just animate the, the cat head and my head and then we'll see what we'll get out of that. So we can do that very easily just by selecting the cat head, go to the inspector up here, and then let's see what we can do with that. Hmm. Okay, let's use the rotation angle, I think. In any case, we'll just uh, click the keyframe icon right here. So whatever we do to these things will be applied. And then we'll just go to the end. Let's see what the cat head should do. Maybe it will rotate a bit. So we'll go this way. And also go Something like that. So you'll see the cat's head will now move over five seconds time. And then we'll do the exact same thing to my head. And just select that and we'll do something different with my head, I think. Again, we can, we can do something so I think I will, again, rotate my head just a tiny bit. Maybe like that. Okay. So we have this little um, parallax effect. And this is where we have a still image with the 
to moving subjects. So we can do something to make this a little more interesting, by the way. So by highlighting all of them, right clicking and then do a new compound clip. And we'll just call this parallax. Parallax, okay, create that. So now we have this, um, this still image, which is fine. But we want to uh, create more movement in that. So I thought it would be great to, again, go to the inspector, go to the transform, and then just push the zoom tool. And then just let's do a little zoom. Something like that. And also let's just um, move this one down. Something like that. And we'll just go to the... Move it up a bit. So now we have this effect. And I think this would be great for a documentary kind of stuff where we do not have any live footage. But th as you see, the, the picture is uh, an old picture of me, so it also looks really um, washed out. So let's try to do something funny about that as well. So I have here a um, VHS uh, effect kind of thing. It's just a, a recording I did from my VHS tape and I did that digital. So let's uh, just drag that down here. And let's put that on top of that. And now we can't see anything, but it's easy to fix. Again, go to the inspector and in the, uh, in the blend mode, so composite mode. So let's just go to screen. So here we have this uh, old VHS effect into a parallax effect as well. So hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like. Share it with your friends if you think this will help them out. If you want to be notified every time there's a video on our channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.